Hey guys, how you doing? Thank you for tuning back into my channel. I'm David Mathis, and I really appreciate you guys' support and for all the comments um, and the messages I've been getting about the content I've been putting out. If you guys are liking the content, please like, subscribe, and share. I really appreciate it. So I wanna dig into today's topic, and it's all about having self-doubt, right? Being fearful, not having confidence in yourself, the goal that you're aiming for, um, whatever it may be. Now, I am someone who, in the past, has dealt with a lot of confidence issues, has dealt with depression, anxiety, OCD, a severe eating disorder that nearly took my life. Um, and part of the issues that I have are that I don't have a lot of confidence in myself. That's something I have worked on and developed skills to help cope with. But what I've really found is that it just takes experience. It takes trying things. It takes being willing to fail and try things to gain that confidence and stuff. I used to be one that was afraid to make mistakes. I'm sure probably some of you guys can relate to that, right? It stopped me from making decisions, making decisions about my health, about my career, about my relationships, anything you can think of. It kind of just stopped me dead in my tracks and I was too afraid to commit. Some of you guys might be feeling that way with your fitness journey, right? With your uh, body transformation with your strength goals, with whatever competition you might be wanting to try, right? Having confidence is crucial. Our psychology, the way that we talk to ourselves, is going to determine not only um, how much success we have, but how easy it is along the way, right? Um, we can get to be our own worst enemies at times. And, you know, I get into moods sometimes where I'm scared, I'm confused. I feel like I'm working so hard and not getting anywhere. And I'm sure many of you guys out there are feeling the same way. And I'm not just talking about your fitness journey. This could be in your career, in school, like I said before, your relationships. So it's easy at times to have this thought about giving it up, right? Because we're human. We have doubt. We have fears. We feel defeated at times. Do not let that get the best of you though, okay? Here's some things that I have um, kind of incorporated into my own life and learned over the years that have helped me get through those tough times, whether it be fitness related, whether it be job related, school related, work related, uh, personal, anything like that. So I wanna go through these with you, okay? Number one is you need to stay focused. You need to understand that the things that you're going through, the troubles, maybe some of the setbacks, they're all a part of the journey, right? No journey to success has ever been 100% clear and without obstacles in the way. You have to keep that focus. You have to keep that belief and that vision that you have in your head when you started this journey. You have to keep that the whole time, all right? Because at times there are going to be things that are thrown your way that cloud your judgment, right? That make you feel like, man, this just isn't worth it or this is not going to happen for me. You have to stay focused, so that's the first one. The second one is you have to have a support system, okay? I have been very fortunate over the years, especially when I was battling my illnesses, my eating disorder, my OCD, my anxiety. I had a great support system of family, of doctors, of therapists, people around me, friends that understood even though they might not have understood what I was going through, they understood me and that I needed help and they helped me seek that out. And the army played a huge part in helping my recovery. Um, so I, I owe them a lot of credit, but you have to develop a social support system. I'm very, very fortunate now. I have my beautiful wife, Amber, who is my rock, who is my best friend, who is my voice of reason at times when I have a very unclear head or that self-doubt, that lack of confidence starts creeping in because it's gonna happen, guys. You're not a robot, you're human. You are going to feel defeated at times. You're gonna feel like giving up, but you can't, okay? The third thing you need to do is you need to remember the journey that has got you to this point. We all have different paths. We all have different backgrounds. We all have things that have shaped us into who we are now. You know, my past eating disorder, um, my anxiety issues, my OCD, my time in the army, um, my upbringing, my parents' divorce, um, my athletic journey, all that stuff has shaped me. 
and all the obstacles, all the things that I have encountered along the way that might have knocked me on my ass, or maybe they did for a little bit, right? But I got right back up. I used them to learn from, and they have helped mold me to get to the point where I am now, and I never lose track of remembering the journey. I use all those obstacles as learning lessons, right? I remember when times get tough that, hey, I overcame a lot worse. This is nothing. Keep that in mind when things start to get a little rough, you get a little shaky, um, you may, might not think this whole fitness journey that you're on is worth it, or that going back to school is worth it, or that this job that you're putting up with is worth it. Just remember all that you've overcome and how strong you really are. The last thing I want to talk about is taking a time out. Now, so many people are afraid to just step away for a little bit. They're afraid that if they lose that edge or they get away from whatever it is they're doing, that they are going to somehow not be um, as motivated or work hard when they come back to it. And guys, that's just the opposite. When you take time, when you allow yourself to take time to step away from whatever it is that is frustrating you, that's making you feel defeated, that is kind of disrupting your journey, your path, whatever it is, fitness, work, school, personal, you need to take time to step away. You need to remove yourself from the situation. You need to find things that are going to help you kind of get your mind off things, right? Because we get in our head a lot. We're human. Um, it's natural. We, we are very psychologically driven uh, beings, right? So it's easy to let the outside world, it's easy to get caught up in what's all going wrong um, until you remove yourself from the situation and really step back and examine it. Let your body relax. Let your mind relax. You're never going to be able to keep moving forward. You're just going to keep running into the same issues you've been running into. So take a time out. This could be for an hour. This could be for a day. This could be for a month, right? If you are truly focused on your goals and you really, really, really want what you're going for, that passion's not going to go away, right? It's only going to fuel you when you come back. Here's an example. I've been battling some injuries for off and on for the last six months. My training has been not where I want it to be. You know, I've had goals that I wanted to hit for this year in 2019. Um, they're not going to get hit, right? My training is very important to me. It is not only who I am as a professional, um, as far as trying to get better to help my clients, um, but it's, it's who I am at my soul. It's my passion, training, improving, physical fitness, nutrition. That is what I was put on this earth to do and to help other people with. And when I can't get in the gym and train and hit my own goals that I'm going for, it wears on me. I feel defeated. Um, I've had to take a step back, right? I can only train a couple days a week and there's limited stuff that I can do. But what I've done is I've taken a step back. I've taken a time out and realized I need to get healthy, right? In that time out, I've been able to focus on other things, growing my business, um, being a husband, um, buying a new home, just enjoying life, right? Um, not to say that I wasn't doing that stuff before, but it gives you a whole different perspective when you step away for a little bit, whether it's due to your own choice or other circumstances like an injury or illness. Don't be afraid to take that time out, right? It's gonna look different for everybody. Maybe you take a time out and you start a new hobby, right? Just don't be afraid of making a change. Don't be afraid of stepping away for a little bit, re-examining the bigger picture. And when you come back, you're gonna be fresh. You're gonna be healthy, if it's the case of coming back from an injury or illness, and you are going to be driven. You're going to be a smarter person because you have been able to see what hasn't been going right and you have been able to fix it and move forward in a better, positive, more progressive way. So those are some things to think about that have helped me when I feel defeated, when I feel a lack of self-confidence, when I feel like all the hard work I'm putting in professionally, personally, um, educationally, training-wise is just not paying off. I step back, I take a look, and I go through these four steps. So hopefully it helps you guys. Um, you know, take a screenshot of this, 
If you guys have any questions about it, please leave comments in the section below. Reach out to me personally. I'm going to leave my information in the description box. Um, if you guys are looking for coaching, please reach out to me. Um, I'd love to try to help you. Um, try to help you not be in the positions that I was years ago um, and help you along your journey. So thank you guys for tuning in. I so appreciate you guys. If you guys are liking this stuff, remember, please like, subscribe, and share. Hit that little notification button because I am putting out content regularly just to try to help you guys. If you guys have anything in particular that you want covered that I have not covered in past videos or that you want a refresher on, uh, shoot me a DM, leave me a comment in the section below, and I'll try to get that taken care of for you. So thank you guys very much for tuning in. I really appreciate you all. Have a great day. Stay confident in yourself. Stay confident in your journey. Remember these four things, and I'll be catching you next time.